Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Celebs Daily. In today's video, we are gonna talk about Naomi Campbell's career from her early days to now. Before starting this video, please consider to subscribe to the channel and like the video, it will help us a lot with the algorithm. With this said, let's get started. Naomi Elaine Campbell was born in May 22, 1970 in Streatham, South London, to Jamaican dancer Valerie Morris. Naomi never met her father, they left her mom when she was only four months pregnant. Her last name Campbell comes from her mother's second marriage. Thanks to her mom's job as a modern dancer, Naomi lived her early years in Italy, Rome, and traveled across to Europe. Naomi's career began when she was only seven years old, when she made her first appearance for Bob Marley's music video Is This Love? But as we all know, Naomi's big break will happen during the late 80s and early 90s, as she started to catwalk for many luxurious brands such as Versace, Dolce & Gabbana and many more. For the beautiful model, everything wasn't easy in the industry, where the beauty standards were discriminatory. But this didn't stop her rise to fame, and for Miss Naomi, it was the time for make history, as she became in August 1988 the first black model to appear on the cover of French Vogue. After Yves Saint Laurent threatened to end his advertising from the magazine if they didn't place Naomi on its cover. In 1989, she appeared on the cover of American Vogue and she became the first black model to be on the cover of the September issue, which is the most important one. No need to say, she also appeared in many other magazines. By 1990, Naomi was dominating the industry alongside other models such as Cindy Crawford, Claudia Schiffer, Kate Moss, Christy Tarlington, and Linda Evangelista, and they were named the Big Six. In March 1991 is the moment where Naomi was officially becoming a supermodel, when she walked for Versace. Between Naomi and Gianni Versace there was a really special friendship. Naomi shared her emotion about Gianni's death, saying that when she found out about it, she was actually in Rome to work with him, as she cries. In 1996, Campbell finally appeared for the first time on the runway of Victoria's Secret, but she never became an angel because the lingerie brand just couldn't afford her. Naomi was being successful, but her agency, Elite Model Management, that represented her for many years, fired her in September 1993. But we will talk about this later. Despite being fired, Naomi wasn't lacking of work, as she signed her first contract with Cosmopolitan Cosmetics, launched several fragrances, published many books, had a short music career with an R&B album, was again on the cover of American Vogue, appeared alongside with Puff Diddy on the cover of British Vogue and appeared in Michael Jackson's music video In The Closet. And as we all know, this music video is iconic and they both look stunning. Despite her having the title of supermodel, Naomi spoke about the racism in the fashion industry, saying that she never earned the same amount of money like the other white models, and she wasn't signed to any major cosmetics company until 1999. From all of this, you can tell that Naomi made history, she is a hard-working woman and she opened the door for many other women of color to work in this industry. She had a feud with Tyra Banks, but I'm not gonna talk about it in this video because there is already a video about it on my channel. If you want, you can check it out, I will leave the link in the bio. Now let's talk about her love life. When it comes to love, Naomi drove men crazy with her beauty. The supermodel allegedly dated in 1989 boxer Mike Tyson. His manager said they just hooked up, while other outlets say that the two were in a whole relationship. Things were kinda toxic, and Mike was described as a really possessive person, and it's rumored that he tried to push Naomi from a moving car, so things were kinda dangerous. In 1993, she was engaged to YouTube bassist Adam Clayton. They met for the first time when the man said that the thing he desires the most in the world was a date with Campbell, but the romance lasted short, cause the following year the two broke up. In 1995, she dated Titanic actor Leonardo DiCaprio. From 1998 to 2003, she dated Italian businessman Flavio Briatore. They also got engaged but broke up shortly after. Their relationship was kinda rocky, but nowadays both have only nice words to say about each other. In an interview, Flavio opened about it and said that he loved Naomi and he knows they will always be there for each other, even if they're not together anymore. Then she dated Russian businessman Vladislav Doronin, actor Robert De Niro, businessman Hassan Jamil, rapper Didi and R&B singer Usher. In 2009, the supermodel dated the former One Direction member Leon Payne and UK rapper Skepta. 
In May 2021, the real love finally arrived for Naomi as she announced the birth of her first daughter. At the time of recording this video, we don't know who is the father of the baby. There are many rumors surrounding this. Some people say that it's Kapta and other people think it's Nigerian rapper Wizkid, as they were rumored to be together, but there is any confirmation yet. So as I mentioned before, Naomi was fired from her modeling agency Elite Model Management that accused her of mistreating and abusing clients and stuff, but this is not the only time that Campbell was at the center of this type of accusation. Actually, she was accused 11 times of committing violence on employees and other people and have been convicted 4 times for assault. The first case happened in September 1999, her former assistant accused Campbell of assaulting her by throwing a mobile phone on her. Naomi pleaded guilty, paid her assistant an undisclosed amount of money, and attempted anger management classes. In 2006, other 8 employees came forward with accusation of abuse. But the most notorious incident happened in 2007. That just like in 1999, Naomi pleaded guilty for assaulting her housekeeper by throwing a phone on her. I guess she has a thing for phones, I don't know. Naomi was sentenced to pay the housekeeper medical fees, attempt again an anger management program and perform 5 days of community service. But those aren't the only legal problem that the supermodel faced. In 2008, Naomi pleaded guilty for assaulting two police officers at the London Heathrow Airport and she was sentenced to 200 hours of community service, a fine of £2,000 and banned from British Airways for life. Another legal problem that the supermodel is facing is that her charity group called Fashion for Relief spent £1.6 million on luxurious parties and only $205,000 on good causes. Now the group is under investigation and we will see how the story develops. And the last legal issue we're going to talk about happened in 2010 when Campbell was at the center of a trial that involved ex-Liberian president Charles Taylor. At the war crime tribunal, the model claimed that she received a few, as she called, dirty looking stones by two unidentified men that she thinks were representative of Taylor. Prosecutors wanted to use her testimony to expose Taylor's diamond trade that he always denied. Naomi said that she gave the diamond to Jeremy Radcliffe of the Nelson Mandela charity group. Radcliffe, of course, denied receiving any diamond from the supermodel, and the dirty stones that Naomi is talking about are called blood diamond mined in a war zone and sold to finance an insurgency. At first Naomi refused to testify at the trial but then told the court that this was a big inconvenience for her. On this case I'm not gonna lie everything seems kind of weird because at first Naomi denied receiving the diamond to ABC News and then told Oprah during an interview that she didn't want to talk about it out of fear for her life. And of course everything that involves a dictator that means that things just aren't good at all. Another thing that Naomi said they struggled with but now has finally overcome is substance abuse. In 1999, as I said, Campbell was at the top of the game, she was making money, traveling, having fun, but she admitted that during that time she got addicted to the white powder that I can't say the name of it because YouTube just won't allow me. But thank god she entered rehab and she talked about her addiction, saying, I was having fun, I was living this life of traveling the world and having people just give you anything. But the little glow in your face goes, it's a very nasty drug. So I'm glad now she's finally overcome this addiction. As we all know, every type of drugs will eventually have some bad consequences. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Let me know in the comment what do you think about Naomi Campbell's career. I feel like she's really iconic. Yes, yeah, she has her ups and downs in her career, as just like everybody else. But I feel like when it comes to her job, She's one of the best, if it's not the best one, in my opinion. And with that, I'm not trying to say that what she did in the past uh, wasn't wrong. Of course, all the abuse and the mistreatment on employees, etc. is bad and she really needs to work on this. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye!